New York City. To be real, this is a harsh place. It's kind of everyone for themselves, and it takes about an hour just for the cops to get here, and I on one call destination. Okay, hold on just a second. Look at the difference between this and that over there. People here don't really care what the next person is doing, so if you're getting jumped, you're pretty much screwed. Okay, this is kind of in contrast to what I just said because there's literally a playground right behind me and this looks like a, lo a lovely neighborhood if I could speak English. It's kind of right in between Chelsea and meatpacking and I love the architecture here, especially the apartment complexes. You see, I only moved here about two months ago and within that time frame I've already had about three or four people come up to me about my camera. And that tells me that this place is somewhere, it, you have to watch out for yourself. And I never thought about a more complex thought process to holding my camera, but it really helps. So I introduced to you the technique. From my mind to yours, a proper camera holding, walking through the streets etiquette to avoid being robbed. The backpack that I have, it's not the most reliable. Sometimes the main zipper opens up, and that leaves my camera and other equipment vulnerable. Therefore, camera, always in hand while walking. Now closely, you really want to make sure that you are gripping it with your pointer finger around the shutter button. Now your pointer finger with the rest of your fingers has to be around. Now, probably your left hand, or just the hand without the camera. This hand, it's by your side, but you want to be able to make a fist with it. Confidence in the fist. Not with your thumb underneath your fingers. Thumb goes around the fingers. Nobody needs broken fingers today. Your aura, the feeling that you give off to people that are just walking by you. You always, always look forward. Shoulders back, eyes straight. And this is it. This is what it should look like on the regular, everyday basis. Eventually, it becomes intuitive, and the gorilla grip that you might need around a body this heavy, well... Plus, you want to be able to look straight ahead to the motherfucker that tries to steal your camera. This city, I mean, if you really want to be here, and you get here, it kind of just sucks you in. It's really not an area that you'll end up leaving. It'll be permanent, and that happens to a lot of people that move here. They just kind of get addicted. You kind of enter this survival mode of trying to find a way to make it work. And in that case, you want to keep your dream as close to you as possible because you're vulnerable here. What I mean by vulnerable is that, well, you start off new in this city. Everything that you've learned, you come here and you start fresh and you try and survive. That's what living here is like when you, when you just get here. And that's what living here is like when you just get here. And that means that I have to take care of this camera because this camera is the only one I have right now until I can afford to reinvest in my company like I want to. And that might mean that this video helps one of you guys and just be more conscious of how you hold your equipment around a city where it's not as safe. Or maybe I'm just crazy and that's that's my subway. I'll see you guys later. Through everything.